Hey, what's up out there? Let's talk about making $100,000 in real estate and tips to get there. So the first tip I want to give you is know thyself. Know who you are, know your strengths, know what you bring to the table. We're going to break this down into four categories today and you guys figure out who you are. So the first category is, are you, number one, a visionary? Are you, number two, a manager? Are you, number three, a technician? Or are you, number four, a creative? And these are four different roles that you can play in the real estate. And they're not by any means exhaustive, but these are kind of broadly going to cover a lot of bases. The visionary is the person who's the entrepreneur, the person who has vision, the person that can see in the future. They're full of ideas. Are you an idea person? Do you just have like a hundred ideas a day, but you don't want to implement any of them. You want someone else to implement them. That's a visionary. The manager is the person that runs the daily operations, loves managing people, developing people, and creating a organization that runs smoothly. The technician is the person who's the boots on the ground, who's out there on the field, who's actually doing the work. And the creative, obviously, is the person that's going to be coming up with you know, creative marketing plans and they're going to love the arts and that sort of thing. These are four different roles that you can play in real estate, you guys, and I want to subscribe to you that part of your journey in making six figures in real estate is going to be correctly identifying which one you are. Now, here's the issue. A lot of realtors, guess what? They wear all four of these hats simultaneously and they wonder why they can't make it past, you know, doing 10 deals a year. You guys, it's simple. The capacity isn't there. Nobody can play all of these roles and do a great job at all four. These are four different roles to play. And this is why for me, I firmly believe that real estate is best accomplished on a team where you don't have to play all of these roles and wear all of these hats. It's a juggling act and you're going to drop one of these. And most people are not all of these anyways. I mean, nobody is really right. So you're going to find out what you're really good at and then play to those strengths. What I find is that many realtors are technicians. What they really want to do is they want to be out there working with clients, selling homes. That's what most realtors want to do. They want to sell homes. They want to work with clients. They want to collect a nice commission check and repeat and do it all over again. That's the role of a technician. And you guys, if that's you, then leverage the rest, leverage your marketing, you know, leverage someone leading the whole organization as a visionary, leverage the management of all of the details and developing people and all that, and just focus on selling homes, right? So guys, I hope this is helpful. There's a lot more that can be said about this. If this is helpful, I would encourage you to read the book Traction, which goes into depth on how an organization really works successfully. And I would encourage you to figure out who you are Know thyself. That's the first step to making a sizable income, six figures or more in real estate is really playing to your strengths and wearing the right hat. So I hope this is helpful. Hey guys, follow our team at Nicholas Ryan team, or you can follow me personally, Nicholas Rendleman. And if this has been helpful, please like it, share it. I look forward to talking to you next week and more tips on how to make six figures in real estate. Thanks so much. Peace.